end, the parking ticket had grown beyond her ability to pay. And now she was facing a judge who didn't seem interested in the circumstances surrounding the violation. Hello. Good morning. How are you? What's the little girl's name? Her daughter's two words, however, changed the entire course of the case. It wasn't even noon yet, but Miranda Kent was exhausted. She had been dealing with her crying four-year-old and errands all morning. The afternoon was going to be just as crazy. Her eight-year-old daughter had a birthday party to attend all the way across town, and Miranda had to race to be there in time. Miranda instantly spotted where the birthday party was, thanks to the balloons tied to the gate. She could not find one available parking spot. The street was incredibly busy, and all viable spots were taken. She sighed as she looked at the only available spot, which was the worst one. Miranda considered her options. She could either park on the sidewalk or attempt to find a parking spot blocks away. Seeing as she was already late to the party, she knew she needed to park on the sidewalk. She knew that it was illegal, but she would only be gone for a couple of hours. When she and her little girl walked back to the car after the party, they were welcomed by a nasty surprise. She could feel her heart drop to her stomach when she noticed a yellow parking ticket under her windshield wiper. Her eyes nearly popped out of her head when she saw that the ticket was for $100. There was no way she would be able to afford this hefty fine. She had lost her bet and was about to lose even more. The longer Miranda waited to pay the fine, the more the fine increased. What started as a $100 ticket quickly turned into $300. She could not even afford the original fine, so she knew she had to go to court to resolve the issue. She received an 8M slot and had to rush with her children to be there in time. Little did Miranda know that her daughter would change the course of the events. Miranda sat quickly in the back with her children. She could feel her palms getting sweaty. She was very nervous. Her eight-year-old looked frightened, and her youngest child could not sit still. Miranda's name got called, and she pleaded with her children to stay quiet while she was busy. The judge seemed reasonable. Miranda hoped he would understand. Hi, Janine. You want to come up here and help me out? Hmm? Come on. <laughs> Miss Kent. I see here you're here because of a parking violation, the judge asked sternly. Miranda struggled to speak, but eventually mumbled yes. Miranda tried to give him an explanation of her circumstances, but the judge remained emotionless. The judge looked at Miranda and asked, those are you daughters? Would the oldest like to approach the bench? Her daughter looked at her with confusion and started to make her way to the judge's desk. As he gestured for her to stand beside him, he held the microphone up to her mouth. So, what do you think we should do about your mother? She broke the law. Should she pay? Miranda looked confused. Tell us your full name. Um, Denise. Okay, and how old are you? Six. Six years old? Wow. The judge continued asking the little girl odd questions, such as her favorite cake and what she enjoyed most about school. After a while, the judge asked, well, how about we give you four choices? First, she could pay the full $300. Second, she could pay the original $100. Third, we could bump it down to $5. Or, we could reduce it to zero. What do you think? Now, would you like to be a judge, like for about five minutes? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to make you a judge, and you're going to help me out with your mom, okay? Okay. Your mom is charged with parking on the sidewalk, okay? okay. We have penalties in addition to the $100, so what we're going to do... The moment her daughter muttered $50, the entire courtroom giggled with amusement. Miranda had just been railroaded by her own kid, but then again, in a very fair way. But when her daughter reached down and held her tummy, the judge asked what was wrong. 
The two words she would say would change everything. Two words. I'm hungry. And when he asked why, her little girl explained that they had to leave early for court and had no time to eat. Right now, I know you've been here since 8 o'clock in the morning and it's like 9.20 already, right? Yes. So what did you have for breakfast this morning? I didn't have anything for yeah, this morning. I was actually I mean, starving. So you, even had, you have not had breakfast today? No. It was then the judge said something Miranda would never forget. Well, how about instead of the $50, she takes you girls out for breakfast? Hmm, which would you like? Her daughter immediately said, breakfast. Well, we suppose I make a deal with your mom, you. okay? That if she buys you breakfast when you leave, that I'll dismiss it. I'll dismiss it. Is that a good deal? <laughs> she wants your money. <laughs> what do you think? Breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. Another wave of amused chuckles rolled across the courtroom. The judge smiled, his expression finally turning warm. Okay, breakfast it is. Miranda felt the weight of the day melt from her shoulders. And with that, their case was over. She was ready to fulfill her promise, and she knew exactly where. There was a 1950s diner in town that served all-day breakfasts with portion sizes that were a challenge even for a grown adult. As she sipped at a steaming cup of coffee and watched her two girls scarf down pancakes like the world was ending, she couldn't help but smile. The judge was a truly good man. He had seen her struggle and come to a fair decision. The breakfast bill had been just under $35, so her fine was not only far more manageable, but she got to spend a wonderful meal with her kids. It was a much needed spark in the faith of humanity, and one that wasn't a sole occurrence. Make a Judge Don't Frank Caprio has made a name for himself here. for being okay. tough okay. on criminals. So he had a powerful one. presence that engulfed the room. However, zero. he was so also known to be unpredictable, often penalties. obsessing over the every little fine. detail of a case. Wait, what's the number again? Uh -huh. What's the number again? Uh -huh. Fifty. So you want to charge a fifty dollars? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.